Hello everyone, welcome to CFC Fan TV. Now me and Rory have been reminiscing over the past calendar year, our best moments, our worst moments, and we've come into a bit of an argument actually because we can't decide who our player of the year is for 2017. Rory doesn't think it's Kante. Because it, it isn't. It is. This Argue isn't me point. knocking Kante. I love Kante. I think he's mm. a wonderful football player and completely changed the dynamic of Chelsea Football Club when he signed for us. Kante's my number But... The reason that we were so brilliant, the reason we've had such a wonderful calendar year, is due to the brilliance of Eden Hazard. In, in what way? Well, Eden Hazard, ha Eden Hazard is our world-class player. I do love he him. He's our marquee player. He is the player that changes us from being a good team to a great team. Mm -hmm. And last year we accrued, what, 93 points from the league. Mm -hmm. His goals, his mercurial mastership, his intelligence, everything that he does on that pitch is, if you're going to give it to one person as to why we won the league, Eden Hazard is the reason. He's the difference. I think Kante's been great, but equally I think Courtois was great. You wouldn't say that Courtois was our player of no, 2017. No, but I think that, obviously we signed Kante for what, 30 million, which is, in my opinion, three t yeah, an absolute bargain, three times less than what he's actually worth. And I think if you ask a lot of fans, especially in the fan camps last year, they said he, they said Kante solely won as a league, and I couldn't agree more. I think you don't get goals. I don't think our players like Hazard and Willian and etc. can shine without having that stability in the midfield. And I think, like the song that's that we have now, it's with Bakayoko. It's together with Angola. I don't think Bakayoko is the same player without having Angolo by his side. And I think I think Kante provides something that we haven't had for quite a few years at Chelsea. And I think. Had he been there, had, had we signed Kante a few years back, we'd be talking about many more titles than what we are now. And that's why I think he's the difference. I, I'm inclined to agree with everything you said. This isn't me bashing Kante. I think Kante is no. an exceptional player who we're very lucky to have at the club. I'm not bashing Hazard either. I just think but, for this year. But the, the reason that we won the league, the person, the one player that makes us different, if you take Eden Hazard out of that team, it does not win the league. If you just think you've... Think I don't of, think we do without Kante though either. Not I anymore. think we stand more. Ch I agree, but I think we stand more chance. I think look, Eden Hazard is the reason that players who score goals and create goals cost so much money, is because they're so rare. Yeah, but I'm looking at it as Eden Hazard is like his individual brilliance alone is like second to none. It's not like like none other, and I think he's one look, of the best so players in the world. But what I'm saying is, I think Kante, as a team player, what he does to our our entire team, not just what he does in one area of the field, is. It's, it's not. It's, it's agreed, not up agreed. For debate. But the thing that makes the thing that makes Eden Hazard is this. Mm. Cast your mind back to last year when we were, you know, we had one eye, one hand, even on the title. We knew that it was a real possibility, but we had to clinch it. I could start this earlier, by the way, but we're talking about the calendar year. Think there were, I'd say, four or five marquee games that are pivotal moments in the Premier League title race. Mm -hmm. In those games. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm going to go for Arsenal at home. Mm -hmm. Arsenal at home when Giroud scored that last minute header. That day, Eden Hazard's pomp, Eden Hazard's dazzling form was the difference. He was fantastic another, in that another, game. Yeah. Another day. And, and, and he scored. Another mm -hmm. day. And this is actually, this is probably uh, the jewel in the crown of my argument. Mm -hmm. Manchester City at home in the league. I remember I was on my honeymoon, I was watching the game on telly from Dubai on BN Sport and Eden Hazard blew my mind. The form that he showed, the intelligence that he displayed, the output, the, the actual, the, the tangible result, the, the goals that he scored that day. Chelsea won the game, we scored two goals, he scored them both. That is, that is a player who clinches you titles. That makes him the best player of 2017. Which, and I, I agree, those were fantastic games and he's, like I say, whenever, whenever I watch Hazard, sometimes I'm just there like, he does it all on his own and it's, every time Hazard has the ball, it's sort of like, <laughs> three or four of the opposition all go to him at once and they still can't get around him. But, if you take away what he does in that area of the field, Kante, I don't think, I, don't, I think our whole team, in my opinion, falls apart without having him in the team. So I feel like Hazard can't get those goals without having Kante... Negative. On the foot, no. Negative. I, I, no, negative. He no. can. No, I he don't can. feel that what's way. The hardest, what's the hardest part of football? How we, how we played last season, just alone, without, without taking into account this part of the year, is... is what's down the, to what's the hardest part of football? 
what's what's the most difficult part of being a footballer? Scoring goals. Scoring goals, yeah. And creating goals. Yeah, but I think Kante's got a few goals. He's got a a only against Manchester United, <laughs> yeah. But he... Not the most important. I think N'Golo Kante played a pivotal role in our success last year. And if and you actually look as well at what he does to a team, you could see last season how badly Leicester did without him and how much better we did. If I were to if say to you, if I were to say to you, going into our match against Stoke, if I were to say to you that N'Golo Kante can't play because he's injured, or I would say to you, Eden Hazard can't play because he's injured, what would cut you deeper? At the moment, in the last couple of weeks. Just, just please answer the question. But it's a sorry, hard. Sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> no, listen, that's, that's a hard. That's a hard question to answer because I don't. At the moment, okay. At the Sounded moment, like I'm you fit, said Eden Hazard. No, by no, accident. I didn't. The way Eden Hazard's playing at the moment is undeniably outstanding, and we have to have him in the team. But secondly, to that, our midfield at the moment, Kante, I would say probably is our only solid midfielder who you can't really criticise up, up to this point. Am I right? Agreed. In which case, if we don't have Kante, our midfield that's already a little bit shaky without him sort of worsens and without Hazard we don't have that extra spark. So I feel Look, like it's it's almost like it's a a draw. It's not a draw. I it, feel like it is. It, it's, it, but Kante this is, this is this is like the best argument that you can have as a Chelsea player. You're arguing over two Fantastic players. dazzling football players who are Arguably the best in the world in their position. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. So it's a very we're we're having a very privileged argument here. Mm -hmm. However, Eden Hazard wins Chelsea football matches and therefore is our player of 2017. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's I'm not sure true. <laughs> it's not true. I didn't I didn't even agree to that. Right. What we'll do is what we'll do is we'll leave it up to you guys to decide who is your player of the year this calendar year is it Kante or is it Hazard or maybe they've got somebody else in contention but I yeah definitely let us yeah, know your let suggestions let us know your thoughts because you way. can easily make a case for Aspilicueta Dave I love Dave you can easily make a case for Thibaut Courtois no <laughs> no it's, it's got to be listen if we weren't having this debate over Kante and Hazard Dave would be would be right up there agreed um, guys let us know who you think uh I am going to stay with Eden Hazard, but I'm really looking forward to hearing your arguments on this. Comment below. The second this video goes live, I'm going to be in the comments, so let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please do it right now.